Happy Friday, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Jones. I am the spokesman for theboxman.com, where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. Our website, again, is www.thebox.com. We are theboxman.com. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the new look Zeus browser and how it is made streaming and surfing the internet from your box. A lot easier. If this is your first time to the Stream Machines YouTube channel, we want to welcome you here. We're also on Rumble, and I have not built up the Odyssey channel. I only can do so much, but I am glad you're here. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. We appreciate everyone tuning into the videos. We're thankful for everyone that likes our content. If you find it more entertaining or you want to know more, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. With that said, when it comes to streaming, having different applications for what you need is pretty paramount. And that comes along with Zeus TV browser. Now, back in the day, a few years ago, I used to use one called Puffin browser, but they became a little bit uh, harder to use. And then someone introduced me to Zeus. I kind of like the name, but they had a different look about a year ago. And this new look is very simple, very powerful, and it's made for streaming, especially when it comes to video and bookmarking. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Zeus TV browser. And it didn't used to look like this, but I'm going to go to settings. And I think it's something you should probably take a look at. We're going to go to settings. What I did is not the video player. You could choose whatever video player you want. But if you want, let's see, the default viewpoint. Now, you can either have mobile. Let's see here. You can either have mobile to the left, like that, to the right, to the left, or I like desktop. If you like mobile, you press OK. I like desktop. I'm pretty familiar with that. So I'm going to turn this back. And now, as you can see, at the bottom, you can start a search. You can download something from the website. Um, from the browser if you wanted to bookmark your favorites history it'll show you where I've been so far um, and different things like that so let's say I want to go to Pat's pulpit I would click on that and it's going to give me the view of a desktop which I prefer versus a mobile now to make this a little bit bigger so you can read it because I'm in my 50s I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to make the page bigger all right I do like that they gave us a little, you know, little circle, a little mouse toggle that moves page up, page down, page down, left, right, and all of that. So if I wanted to save this, I could definitely do that by hitting the star button there. And I can save this to, um, I can save that to the favorites. So as you can see, I've saved Pat's pulpit to the favorites. There it is right there. As we go ahead and go back to this, if I wanted to do a start another tab, I would just click on this and there you go. It's gonna open up to the Zeus browser here. Now also I'm glad it did this. Now you notice that the, you didn't know this, but the older Zeus browser did not have this functionality as much, but I could go to Facebook, YouTube Shorts, Gmail, Reddit, Pinterest, Wikipedia, all these are right here for you if you like to. Pardon me, my dog is, is barking, so I'm, I, I apologize for that. But as you can see here, it makes it easier to easy to get to the shorts and th different things like that. Now, if I go down here, if I hit the back button to close, I want to go, I want to delete all the history like that. Let's go OK. And then I'm going to go to the top and it's going to come back here. You notice that where I was goes right here. It was never there before. So it saves these right here while you're in your session, which makes it easy to get back where you were. If you want to be very private, it even has an incognito, which every good browser should have that. And that means you're, you don't want to be seen or known or what you're doing. And I do like the fact that it's much a much easier browser while it's on the TV. This is definitely on my TV. This is definitely available for anyone that wants to use it. And I suggest you go to the Google Play Store, type in Zeus TV browser. You will not be disappointed. Again, you can type in something here. 
and it will search for it. So let's say I want to close Pat's pulpit here. I'll just go ahead and do that right there. All right. And let's see if I can go right here. Close that. I did that. Did I do that? Yep. Let's see if I can close this. Good. And let's see if I can close this. Yep. So let's go ahead and do one more thing. I want to show, let's go to Amazon.com. Amazon, there it is. So we'll go to Amazon and it'll show you again in desktop form. Make it bigger. Boom, 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 boom. And there it is. So this is a great browser. I suggest you try different browsers because maybe one day you might need to sideload or go to a website to put something on your device, which is your legal right. Um, and you need a browser that can do it, and Zeus Browser can do it. Hey, if this is your first time looking at the Zeus Browser, do me a favor. Thank me for the video. Just kidding. But tell me what browser you use and why you use it. I like Zeus so far. It's been the best ease of use, better than Chrome, uh, better than um, the other one as well. I used to use Chrome, but I don't, I don't use that anymore. So I would rather use something that's easy. Most of my people, they got away from Puff and TV browser. Uh, it became too commercial. With that in mind, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I also, in the next video, I'm going to continue to show you from start to finish how to record and take an empty uh, USB drive, format it to a formula, and record on a GTV. I'm going to take it from start to finish. That video will come up tomorrow morning. Make sure you tune in for that. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.